What is going on guys? Wiser here coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was our week 8 CWO matchup versus Spartans Legacy and uh, we knew we had our hands full uh, coming into this one. We've matched Spartans Legacy many many times and unfortunately for us just fell short. We put up a pretty good score. Why is my camera going blurry? Good old autofocus. Interesting. There we go. I don't know what that was all about. Um, anyhow, we put up a 112. We did have a few town hall 10 versus 10 trips. Uh, unfortunately, we lost it sort of in the end. Uh, Spartan Legacy had a really nice, they only had a one star town hall 9 scout on number 13 on Chad here, and then Hex Hexazine came in um, and tripled it, and we were uh, pretty impressed with that. And that actually was a two star swing for them. And then they were able to use their bullies elsewhere and sort of was the uh, nail in the coffin for us in the end. But uh, we overall put up a pretty good effort, so we were happy with that. Uh, do have a few attacks. Okay, uh, it's Mother's Day today. I run a restaurant. I got my ass kicked. But um, I have not been able to really been, uh, to do a ton of content uh, as of late, as probably many of you have noticed. But um, I want to do my best to try and get, uh, at least get these CWL recaps into you because... Um, not only, you know, I, 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 I want you guys to see us as we're progressing and, and the improvements that we've been making, uh, but there's guys within the clan that definitely deserve some recognition, so I want to make sure we, uh, we get that. And uh, We're going to start off with my man, number 33. I'm just going to fly through. It's Mother's Day, like I was saying, and I am absolutely exhausted. Just exhausted. But my man, Ryan the Great here. Ryan's a Euro. Um, so the time zone is a little different. Why is my camera doing that? It's pretty frustrating. Um, now, uh, he's just an awesome member. He's kind of a quiet guy, but puts up the triples like a madman. Uh, one of our awesome Euro crew. So I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to Ryan. He's bringing this bitch attack um, uh, with a witch slap, I guess. You can call it a Town Hall 9. He's going to go ahead and drop a couple healers. Bunch of witches are on their side. Just walk them down the sides of the base. He's going to go ahead and drop CC Bowlers. Get a cold-blooded golem in there. Do some tanking for that defensive queen. And get his king in. A CC of his own bowlers. And uh, his queen in on in, in on the action. And you're going to see he just gets nice clean entry. Like king does hit the ability but still getting good value. Poison down over the clan castle troops. Uh, his queen is in there doing, doing work. Under that rage. Down goes the CC, and they are still working through that stuff. So he's got the witches coming in on either side. Uh, these witches down here do sort of pitter out to these double whiz towers. Obviously, that's sort of the uh, only threat is uh, heavy splash damage versus those witches, which is sort of surprising because even with the um, with the healers, uh, oh, that, that's right, it hits the double bomb. That autofocus has to go. I don't know why it's so sensitive all of a sudden. That was pretty frustrating. There we go. Um, but uh, so he hits the double black line. So that's pretty unfortunate. Loses both the healers. But you're going to see everything sort of is wrapping around now to this side. He's got the witches meeting up with his kill squad that's now finally made it through the core of the base. And they're going to continue the way down to those whiz tower. This base does not stand a chance at this point. Really, that Tesla is the only serious threat to that queen. She's going to bust through that wall in a second. I'm give this a times two. Skelly's moving on in. That one healer is still going as well. Really, just one healer on the witches. Look at that. Giant bomb. No big deal. Just heal him back up. Heal him back up. There they go. Down it goes. Tree in the bag. Nice job, Ryan. You got a six pack this for. Um, all right, moving on. I just want to show these town 10 trips and be on with my night because I am literally going to fall asleep with the keyboard here. Um, number 20. My man Fowler. Good old Chad. He's been putting in a lot of work. Um, and, you know, against these Town Hall 10s uh, with these lower level defenses, uh, he's been having a lot of success. So it's sort of a matter of time before he really starts cracking those max bases consistently. Uh, but he just walks in here with this uh, suicide hero. He's going to walk the queen in, get the air defense, get a bunch of this stuff taken out. Uh, and then I believe he's got a CC of bowlers and he's going to drop his king here to do the, some tanking for the queen. Yeah, he's going to drop the king, hit the ability. There it 
goes, in comes the bowlers right behind. Jump spell goes down, gonna lock everything right into the core of that base. So he's gonna have two air defenses on this entry, end up taking out the defensive queen, uh, but does not get this Inferno Tower. I think he was hoping to get it, um, but ended up anyways that the Lalo pathing from that side was perfect and just go right, sort of right to that Inferno Tower. And everything you're going to see here in a moment sort of pass to this for to the the nine o'clock where these air defenses are and then the the hounds sort of trickle through the base uh doing a little bit of tanking for uh the 23 balloons he's got here also like the patience there chad on the pups he waits and waits and gets a couple archers down pups come on over drops a few minions to make sure the pups get cleaned up and don't start following these balloons but as you can see he sends in this pack right straight at this air uh inferno tower sends in a few more balloons uh, down from the seven o'clock spot. Haste are down. Haste everything in. He just needs to, these air defense to go down very quickly. Need these wizard towers to go down quickly. There goes that heal spell. Staying out of range of those inferno towers. Good job on that. Still has a freeze and a uh, haste. He's going to use for this backside. There goes the haste. Get things right in on top of this next inferno tower. Freeze goes down. Good job with that. Just making his way over there in perfect amount of time. <clears throat> that Wiz Tower is trying to do some work, but doesn't really matter. He's got far too many balloons at this point. Just need to make it. Bam, bam. Still has a Hound Unburst at this point as well. Looking real, real good. Getting it as a times two, because it does take a little bit of time. Pup's doing work down here at 6 o'clock. All those big trash buildings going down. Still has that Hound Unburst. Kind of unfortunate at that point. If it had burst, it would have taken out those air skellies. It would have had more balloons. But as you can see, he's got far too many. Crush it, Chad. Nice job, buddy. Boom. Sexy, sexy. So, d -d 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 19. CBG. Or CGB, is it? I think that's the debate going on in the Town Hall 10 chat right now. <laughs> uh, he, he's our bitch master. He's going to go ahead and create his funnel. Nice little trade for those uh, two bowlers there. Doesn't quite get this mortar. I think he does in a moment. But see the golem ends up going over to that. So that's unfortunate. But no big deal. Because he's got the jump spell down when uh, CBG sees level 1 Inferno Towers. He gets horny, I'm telling you. Because he's just going to go ahead and do this. He's going to walk everything right in. These skeletons sort of just stand there i don't like how they didn't take the jump uh very creative base design because you had to make sure all the stuff on the outside before anything took the jump into that inferno tower uh so it's sort of deceiving but cbg's goes ahead bus on in rages go down heels go down taking care of that stuff the inferno tower is far enough away he's able to drop a heel back here and get really good value on it <clears throat> just keeps things moving through the core has a little bit of witches on either side the queen does walk around it's a little bit unfortunate if the queen was here this inferno tower would have gone down well maybe not because the hound is there but regardless that was the only threat at this point and you're going to kind of see how this barely plays out but witches and uh queen end up making their way around uh all these skellies in this witch do a little bit more cleanup everything sort of converges on this point uh and finally these last sort of core buildings go down just in time Bam, bam, bam. Skelly spell is key, guys. Keep an eye on it here. It goes down at the mortar, doing just enough tanking for the queen here to do the mop up. <laughs> Get that arch tower down. See you later. And then all we're going to have left is this inferno. And it has barely any health. So finally, when the queen bursts through the wall, it's a treat in the bag from a man. CBG. Nice job, my friend. Cheers to that. Shotgun a beer for Dally in his broken hand. Um, last but not least, my man Val. So, uh, Val should have more triples than he does. He's got get some very creative plans and, um, Seeing sort of his his game progress has been awesome, uh, and I'm telling you, with, the, with the, the ideas and the mind that this guy has, um, he should be getting more triples, and it's starting to show now. He's starting to get some some reward for the amount of work he's been putting in. So, 
Val goes ahead, drops this cold blooded golem, sort of suicides this queen up at 12 o'clock, takes care of all this business. Funnel is created. He's going to go ahead and send 10 bowlers in with his king. He has a few uh, on the funnel that end up joining as well. <clears throat> CC is, I believe, a hound loon. So he ends up bringing uh, just two hounds and basically 18 balloons. So the goal here is God uh, gets an expo down, all these defenses on the outside. He's trying to create an L shape. That's sort of the idea with your Lalo. You want to be able to gut enough of the base to create. See how just there's this perfect L shape around the base. That's exactly what you're going for with these Lalos. Hay spells in, just protecting the loons on the way, reinforcing, ensuring all the balloons just continue to take this linear path, well, sort of this L-shaped path around the base, get everything on top of that Inferno Tower. Perfect haste, Val. Second haste goes down as well. Just got to get in through that sweeper, and then you are gold, my friend. Blam and blam. Sexy, all those skellies, but it doesn't matter. Far too many cleanup troops around the base. That stupid king. Love it when balloons chase the king. That's so dumb. Because they don't. It's the same thing. There's still that bug when a troop is moving. There's certain units and, and defenses that like a wizard tower, if something is moving, doesn't do damage. Maybe they fix the wizard towers. But definitely if a king is walking and a balloon drops a bomb, it doesn't do any damage. Like it should. Uh, but yeah, Spartan's Legacy, congrats, man. Uh, you guys are definitely in the playoff hunt, so good luck. Uh, so we fall to one and six. We do still have our makeup match versus the loss coming up. A uh, lot of progression for us. We are happy. Um, we got a good core group of friends that are just having a lot of fun now, clashing together. Uh, things are really picking up for us as well. Um, and Dr. D's got a lot of Invicta <laughs> videos that are coming up very soon. Um, for the CWO Rising. He has recorded pretty much every week of it. Uh, just has not had time to sort of compile everything and upload the videos. So uh, expect a lot of Invicta com content coming soon. We got week nine coming up against uh, Fake Wargasm. So that is going to be a great challenge for us. Fake Wargasm, one of the top clans in the Invite League. So uh, until then, guys, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. Until then, I'm out.